before rebirth into the apocalypse, bring back a space. Yi Lin has thanked herself countless times for her luck. This time, she will no longer experience the cold and hunger, nor the dark side of the base. Don't worry about supplies, and fate will be rewritten. Keywords of the novel Catastrophe No pop-ups from joining the rescue team, Catastrophe Starting from joining the rescue team, download the full text, Catastrophe Starting from joining the rescue team, read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 Rebirth with Space You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1, Rebirth with Space, Am I Reborn? Yi Lin woke up from a nightmare and sat on a soft bed panting heavily. In her mind, she frantically said it was impossible, but she looked up and saw a clock hanging on the wall. The time displayed was June 30, 6090 at 21.00. The balcony outside the window connects with countless lights, shining brightly. Important news is broadcasted on the large screen of the distant building. Important news is being broadcasted now, with a dangerous level. Recently, the State Administration of Public Security issued the latest instructions regarding the April 5 explosion at the Tianji Group factory. Suspect Yu Feng is wanted, with a reward of 1 million yuan for clues and 100 million yuan for arrest and prosecution. The host's face disappeared and a sunny smile appeared on a man's face. The video paused for a few seconds, revealing the man's muscular physique and sturdy physique. That's right, this is the fresh world before Yi Lin fell asleep, and also the fresh world before the wind and snow in her dreams. If dreams are real. A month later, a severe disaster struck and the world entered the end of a snow disaster. She hugged the big doll tightly giving herself more physical and mental strength, and reminiscing about the scene in her dream. Flying snow obstructs the view, adding ice blades to the cold. The view is vast and white everywhere, and deep and tearing snowstorms and cold clouds can be seen in the distant sky. Yi Lin's line of sight is full view. She saw a RV tilting and a group of strange zombies smashing it in all directions. Footprints extended, and dense zombies chased after two men and two women. At the forefront ran a fierce man, with more wind and snow hitting him. Then came a teenager. Yi Lin runs in third place. After being cut off, she was also a girl, with a beautiful appearance and a fitting outfit that outlined her first dot class figure. Running day after day, being chased by zombies, fighting back and forth. Yi Lin. Captain, the nutrients are gone. The fierce man simultaneously threw away something in his hand and shouted, the communicator is also broken. Fortunately, I have obtained the nearest supply point location. Run, follow me. In the wind and snow, a zombie suddenly appeared blocking the way, and the fierce man rushed over with his thick skin and flesh, flying the zombie away. Under his guidance, Yi Lin and others ran day after day. Dense zombies reappeared, unexpectedly surrounding them. Despair occupied everyone's hearts, and the beautiful girl shouted, Dina, take a step first, goodbye in the next life. She pulled away the grenade-like object and disappeared into the snow with the surrounding zombies. Yi Lin cried out in pain, Dina. Kneel down on both knees. The boy hugged her face and said stubbornly, Lin, don't look. Run, follow the captain. Yi Lin was disheartened and said, Okay. The boy regained the wind in front of him, but Yi Lin did not follow him. For them, rushing through the exploded opening still puts a lot of pressure. Watching the fierce man come back to pick them up and fight the zombies in a roar. Yi Lin instantly accelerated past the boy and quietly pulled away another grenade in her hand, saying, Goodbye captain. Goodbye Cold Shuang, live well. Bang! Yi Lin lost consciousness, opened her eyes, and returned to her recently delivered three-bedroom living room. Captain Wu Ming still screamed with heartache in his ear, no. Hold on a little longer. Opening her eyes again, Yi Lin collapsed on the bed. Her best friend Dina, her kung fu coach Dina, the young Leng Shuang she treated as her younger brother, 
and the Captain Wu Ming who always provided protection, they really appeared in her life. Tears seemed to trickle down from her heart, forcing Yi Lin to hiss in pain. This is not a dream, it is real. She was reborn. This thought arose again, and a severe stomach ache followed suit. Yi Lin once again found evidence of her rebirth, and her excessively hungry stomach followed suit. She came to the kitchen and lit the stove, not yet sure what she was eating. Before she self-destructed, she had been taking company supplements, which are fully absorbed energy foods and do not contain food residues. During the process of taking nutritional supplements, there is no need to drink extra water, supplement vitamins, or use restrooms, which may result in the risk of freezing to death or frostbite in the wild. The only downside is that returning to the company or a supply point where food can be safely consumed requires a process of three to seven days of refeeding. Let the gastrointestinal tract regain peristalsis first, in order to restore normal human diet. Even though Yi Lin's stomach was burning with hunger at this moment, and the kitchen refrigerator and living room refrigerator were filled with food, she had limited options. Take out a handful of vegetables, fiber can help restore gastrointestinal motility. Take out another egg. Egg vegetable soup is full of nutrition and easy to absorb. With a stomach ache, she leaned over the stove and waited for the water to boil, muttering to herself, Don't rush, this is my private space, feel free to eat. In the next moment, a flower appeared before her eyes. The stove and pot disappeared, and when she looked around the kitchen, they also disappeared. There were only large grey mist like chaos on all sides. Looking down, you can see the ground. The black and hard soil feels similar in size to her bedroom, which is about 10 square meters. Did you encounter a time travel just after being reborn? Yi Lin exclaimed in panic, where am I? Let me go back. The light is bright and warm as it descends. She returned to the house purchased through her parents' inheritance and work-study, with carefully selected chandeliers above her head. Having calmed down, Yi Lin was immediately excited. Is this space? The next moment, chaos enveloped her again, and she returned to a place about 10 square meters away. When she reached the chaos and reached out to explore, her hand was out of sight and submerged in the chaos. Oh my goodness! After her rebirth, she gained space again. Half an hour later, Yi Lin sat in the living room, slowly eating half a bowl of vegetable and egg flour noodles in soup. She restrained herself from pushing the bowl away, clenched her fists, and put her forehead on it, deep in thought. The memories in the dream have fused as if they were born, telling Yi Lin that in her past life, she was a rescue team member of the World Tree Rescue Company, with the lowest level. This company does not publicly recruit and does not use headhunting companies. Most of the members within the company come from the rescued individuals. After being rescued from the snow disaster, those who have recovered their health can choose to enter any base established globally at that time, or choose to become members of the World Tree Company, participate in company rescue missions, and join rescue teams to rescue others around the world. At the same time, the painful memories before rebirth also returned, as if opening a Pandora's box for Yellen. Endless anger enveloped Yi Lin. The noisy sound echoed in my ears. Xiaoya, what are you still procrastinating about? If my son Xiao Bao doesn't calm down well, it will affect Mr. Yuan's sleep in your family. Come and expect me to hold Xiao Bao for a while and let me rest. How many more chocolates are there? Give them to me to eat. I'm not used to the things I send on the way, they're really bad to eat. Pop. The noisy memories made Yi Lin too angry. She punched the table, half a bowl of noodles jumped up, and a few drops of soup splashed onto her hand. When the bowl fell, it was okay, not broken or spilled. She could no longer recall, stood up and walked back and forth in the living room, as if this could dispel the dark clouds of memory. Soon, she felt that the living room was not enough, or rather that the countless lights outside the window attracted her. She walked to the bedroom balcony and looked out into the distance and night sky, forcing herself to shift her gaze to the large screen of the building that could be seen. 
that news is still scrolling through. Recently, the State Administration of Public Security issued the latest instructions regarding the April 5 explosion at the Tianji Group factory, with the suspect Yu Feng wanted and a reward of 1 million yuan for clues and 100 million yuan for arrest and prosecution. Yi Lin watched carefully, and Yu Feng's smiling face shone brightly. No matter how he looked, he didn't look like a bad person. Some bad people cannot be seen from their appearance. Just like the two things Yi Lin just recalled. One is the neighbor across from her at this time, Wu Wan and her five-year-old child Xiao Bao. Another is Yi Lin's scumbag boyfriend Yuan Chen, who is currently in a cold war but will reconcile tomorrow. This book was first published by the Starting Point Girl, and after many years, it was published again by the Starting Point Girl. So the newcomers are transparent and shiny. End of this chapter. Chapter 2, Cannot Be Forced You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2, Cannot Be Forced In the Previous Life, Following the National Retreat, People Living in the Community Were Divided by the Community, While Those Living on the Streets Were Divided by the Street. Yi Lin and the people living on the same floor formed a team. Along the way, Wu Wan disliked it very much. It's not just her who has children, but she's the only one who can't walk while holding them, and sometimes yells that the children are hungry, making everyone annoyed. The security guard in the community is the team leader. They said they should just leave Wu Wan alone. Wu Wan cried all the way while holding her child, crying until the next rest point. She still had the strength to cry, which annoyed everyone and caused many people to not sleep well. Yuan Chen gets restless when he can't sleep well, and Yi Lin helps Wu Wan soothe the child. There were prepared evacuation supplies in the early stages of departure, and Yi Lin took out her own snacks to help Wu Wan soothe the children. Wu Wan thought she had grasped Yi Lin's weakness and couldn't help but give the child to Yi Lin's embrace, saying one by one, Xiao Bao is going to make trouble again. Mr. Yuan from your family can't sleep well and can't take care of you on the way. At this moment, Yi Lin saw clearly that Yuan Chen was a good person. When Yi Lin expressed that she didn't want to help anymore, Wu Wan made the child cry endlessly. Yuan Chen was angry at Yi Lin and said, Try to make him stop crying, can I still sleep? Until Yi Lin picked up Xiao Bao again or took out her own food, the farce of relying on the bare child to deceive people could not come to an end. Day by day, the child named Xiao Bao also developed a habit. Yi Lin took out candy, but he didn't eat it. He cried until Yi Lin took out precious chocolate. In addition, Yuan Chen also ate uncontrollably and hadn't arrived at the base yet. Yi Lin's diet couldn't keep up and she was tired. She fell ill several times, getting worse and worse. Yuan Chen ignored her, and Wu Wan scolded her for not helping. Wu Wan retreated alone holding her child, but was abandoned by her husband. In the end, among the women who had an affair with Yuan Chen, there was Wu Wan. When you enter the base and discover the distribution base for supplies, if you think about it well, you have to find another way on your own. Yuan Chen may have listened to Wu Wan's instigation, and he himself is not a good person, selling Yi Lin to a person named Tiger Brother. Yi Lin couldn't agree, she ran away desperately. Tiger Brother's two subordinates, one named De Jin Mao and the other named Xiao Teddy, kept chasing after him. Yi Lin had no choice but to give up her warm base and escape from the ventilation to the icy and snowy terrain. De Jin Mao and Little Teddy were afraid of freezing to death, so they dared not chase after them. However, they still chased after the ventilation vent, threw out their weapons, and two slightly heavy knives, knocked Yi Lin unconscious. Falling in the snow more than ten steps away from the base, Yi Lin heard little Teddy chuckle and said, Now I've seen you freeze to death with my own eyes. We can go on a mission now. Yi Lin fainted and woke up in the car of the World Tree Rescue Company. Afterwards, she became a member of the World Tree Rescue Company. Starting from anger, she thought of pain, and then from pain, she thought of the World Tree Rescue Company. Yi Lin's clenched fist relaxed, and the person gradually calmed down. The World Tree Rescue Company did not fuel her hatred. 
On the contrary, after being trained by the company, Yi Lin, who had suffered immense pain, was willing to contribute her efforts in the global natural disasters and rescue those in need. The large screen of the building in the distance has once again changed, and a group of anti-war activists have crazily shouted in the news, technology is not advanced, it's all because of war. We don't want war, war. Below is an urgent subtitle. The advertising drone is about to take off. Please close the curtains for the street leaders. We don't want to see your secrets, we just want to bring good service. Yi Lin returned to the bedroom to check the curtains. She has a new three bedroom and one living room, so she has also turned on the living room curtains, as well as the non living second bedroom and small room air conditioning. Returning to the living room, I began to think about what to do in the future. From the date, she only has one month's time. From a spatial perspective, snow disasters will still come. She will go online to notify everyone, but when she hasn't posted, she understands that no one will believe it. There are too many speculations about the fate of humanity on the internet. She wants to take care of herself in this life, what scumbag, quickly get rid of it. What scumbag neighbor, turn your face quickly. When blizzards and natural disasters resume, Wuan should no longer rely on Yilin for help, and Yuan Chen should not rely on Yilin for support on the road of great retreat. She needs to hoard first, hoard more, and stay at home without going anywhere. According to her understanding of the World Tree Rescue Company, the company will use life weight testing equipment to capture every city, township, residential area, factory area, and other places where people may still live after the global human retreat to tropical areas. If anyone is found alive, rescue teams will be dispatched. That is to say, as long as Yi Lin stays in place, she can return to the company earlier than in her previous life. Her parents passed away and she had no siblings. Memories from her past life told her that the World Tree Rescue Company was her home. Although desire kept talking, I went downstairs with my wallet to eat delicious food and started hoarding today. However, Yi Lin chose to be rational and slowed down to finish the remaining half of the bowl of noodles. She took out a piece of frozen meat and a glass of hot water from the refrigerator and sent them into the space for freshness testing. She then returned to the soft bed to sleep. No body. Talking about hoarding goods. Yi Lin thought she would suffer from insomnia, but in fact, when she touched the soft pillow and warm bed, she slept soundly in seconds. Wake up, wake up, wake up, the phone ringtone keeps ringing. Yi Lin skillfully grabbed it in her sleep and smashed it at the door, saying, I need to sleep a little longer. Suddenly, with a sudden inspiration, I opened my eyes and realized that it was not my dormitory at the company, but rather a rebirth and a return to my own home. Watching my phone fall straight towards the door. If it's broken, I still need to buy a new one. Yi Lin wrapped herself in a blanket and pounced, wrapping her phone in the corner of the blanket. Her person rolled and pressed it against the door. I didn't fall. Yi Lin took out her phone and saw the words, I haven't figured out whether I'll be fooled by you for a lifetime, or I'll be fooled by you for a lifetime, flashing on the screen. Her eyes twitched and she connected. Lin Lin, you can't stop working even if you're angry. The full attendance bonus is 300 yuan, so you can buy some things for your family. The speaker had a young voice and a sharp dot tongue tone, and was Yuan Chen, Yi Lin's long dot time boyfriend. Yi Lin slowed down and asked softly, word by word, which family? Isn't your house just delivered? You said you have all the big furniture, but now you only need some handy small appliances. You can buy a warm fan for 300 yuan. You know I'm afraid of the cold in winter and don't want to be cold when I enter my house, Yuan Chen chattered on. Oh, you're referring to the house under my name. Yi Lin dragged out her voice. Yi Lin doesn't know what kind of mood should be the best, at home. Is the house related to you for half a penny? But upon hearing Yuan Chen's dissatisfaction increase, he said, Is there any difference between your name and mine? Different. My house is mine, your house has nothing to do with me. Yi Lin sneered, 
and do you have a house? Yuan Chen raised his voice and said, let's just argue. You've become unreasonable. Aren't we arguing about getting married? Yi Lin remained silent and regained her composure. She only has one month and doesn't want to spend a minute or a second on a scumbag. Yuan Chen, we're not suitable. What? I have experienced some things that have made me understand that I cannot force myself. Otherwise, you won't be happy. I don't care, I will definitely not be happy, and I have to take care of it. Yi Lin solemnly said, let's end it. When marriage is a pit, there's no need to imply that you're safe and jumping in. What are you saying? Tomorrow's sun rises, you can look at women and I can look at men. Isn't it fragrant? I'm sorry, I have to make the necessary modifications. Please continue writing until I am satisfied. End of this chapter. Chapter 3, You Can Learn Bad or Learn Good You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3, You Can Learn Bad or Learn Good Yuan Chen was furious and said, Hurry up and come out to work. Don't say if you have any of these. Come and apologize to the manager. He has promised me to forgive you because you have been working full dot time since you started. Get your full attendance first, let's talk about something else after work tonight. It's 300 yuan. Yi Lin sighed, hung up the phone, wrapped herself in a blanket, and returned to bed. When she put down her phone, she thought about it and curled her lips, saying, 300 yuan. You think it's a lot of money, why do you drink late at the bar with your colleagues every night? Is it not money spent, but your young body? Ha! Huh. She felt extremely strange. Even if you scold Yuan Chen, it's not surprising. Why do you speak in a resentful tone? After pondering for a few minutes, Yi Lin understood. No wonder she only has an urgent desire to break up with Yuan Chen. On the one hand, life is not easy on the way to the Great Retreat. With Yuan Chen's slick tone, she may encounter another foolish girl, or be seen through by a clever girl. Yuan Chen cannot receive any care, and it is hard to die on the way to the Great Retreat. You should know that in his previous life, Yuan Chen safely completed the entire retreat and exploited the materials purchased from Yi Lin's savings. Secondly, Yi Lin was reborn, but she still had some of the current love at that time. She just wanted to leave quickly and didn't have the energy to fight with the scumbag. Yi Lin sighed as she brought back some previous life strength points. It was not difficult to fight, and Yuan Chen's repeated entanglement with him was truly terrifying. This person, quickly disappear from life. Go elsewhere and consume his young body. Meat. She jumped out of bed and said, Get up, get up, seize this month to stock up. Wake up, wake up, the phone rang simultaneously, and the manager's name flashed on the screen. Yi Lin was well guided after six months of employment and had a good impression of manager Zhang Yu. Hurry up and connect. Weakness in breath. Manager Zhang, Xiaoya, are you sick? Yes, I can't get up all the time. I'm just about to get up and go see a doctor. Then take a good rest. I don't think you are someone who is absent from work for no reason. I will approve your sick leave when you are able to work. Thank you, Manager Zhang. Hanging up the phone, Yi Lin muttered that he was a good person and entered the space. Hot water burns your hands, and there is no sign of thawing of frozen meat. Okay. It can keep fresh. When brushing her teeth and washing her face, Yi Lin kept smiling. The computer was buzzing low on the fan, and Yi Lin mortgaged her house for a loan. When waiting for the online loan request to be returned, contact the major manufacturers and ask, I want to open a supermarket and I need your products. Do you have a quotation and delivery time? Half an hour later, the email box made frequent reminders, and Yi Lin clicked to take a look. She also quickly contacted many manufacturers, with over a hundred emails, all of which had common titles. Pork quotation and delivery time. Please note that there are discounts included, please do not miss them. Rice quotation and delivery time. Be careful, I have a discount for you, 
please make sure to check. Fruit Quotation and Delivery Time You are a beautiful woman, I am a handsome guy, you are a handsome guy, I am a fairy, please click on it, it will be beneficial. If each manufacturer knew that she only had a warehouse of 10 square meters and a two-bedroom one living room with three bedrooms and one living room for hoarding, would they be able to hit people online? Looking around, it couldn't help but brighten up. Balconies, kitchens, and bathrooms can also be stocked appropriately, while bedrooms are sufficient for sleeping and resting, and half of the space can be allocated. Everything is ready, just wait for the loan to reply, how much money you get and how much goods you buy. Rent another warehouse and deliver the purchased items to the warehouse. She receives the space and goes home to make room for the living room, study, bedroom, and kitchen. Then, she returns to the warehouse to continue receiving the goods and delivering them to her home. This money that is absolutely necessary has made Yi Lin feel heartbroken. Ding! The email prompt sound is on. There are multiple unread emails in the mailbox. Yi Lin opened it and found the property evaluation report. Your house is eligible for a loan of 1.03 million yuan. A house with a total price of 4 million yuan, and spending over 300,000 yuan on decoration and purchasing large furniture, has just been delivered for less than three months. Yi Lin summed up, you have a black heart. Thinking of 10 square meters of space again, I feel relieved. No matter how much money is, having nowhere is useless. Upload the property certificate, upload the ID card, upload the location map of the community, and Yi Linxi smiled happily. Thanks to the internet, everything can be done without leaving the house. Dear valued customer Yi Lin, we are honored to receive your loan voucher and it will take one working day to verify. Please note that our bank will not send anyone to visit us, and our powerful satellite will present everything truthfully. If there is any falsehood, our strong legal system will take care of you. Yi Lin shrugged her shoulders. A month later is the end of the world, and the powerful end of the world will present everything in reality and care about what cruelty means to you. Buying a house made her have a bad impression of the bank. She went to school while working and only bought a house for full payment, which is evidence. Swear to death not to be a mortgage slave. I still restrained myself during lunch and took a quick nap. Yuan Chen's harassing text message serves as a wake.up bell. Lin, manager Zhang said he personally verified that you are really sick. Can't you really get up? Working with an illness will make the company look at you differently and there is also a full attendance award to receive. Lin, why didn't you reply to me? You should consider what I said. We're getting married soon and we need to be sincere with each other. Lin, it's already afternoon and you won't get a full attendance award when you come to work, but you must go to work tomorrow. Do you hear that, so as not to be deducted money? Yi Lin typed on her phone, the person is dead. Please connect to the Heaven Network and resend. Conclusion Yuan Chen won't believe it, he'll just make crazy phone calls. Delete and replace with. I am from the Public Security Bureau. It is now confirmed that Yi Lin went missing three months ago, and her boyfriend is often the most suspected. Please immediately go to the nearby Public Security Bureau to report and surrender, and we can deal with it lightly. Conclusion Yuan Chen is not brave enough, he may be scared and foolish, or he may actually report, and the Real Security Bureau will find him later. There is still one month left until the end of the world, and one cannot waste their precious time casually. It's best to follow the usual practice of not responding or pretending to be invisible. Yuan Chen would think she was still in a cold war, and he would patiently wait until Yi Lin was not angry reply to him with a text message or phone call, and start their relationship again. Sure enough, Yuan Chen kept sending messages and Yi Lin didn't reply. Until evening before work, her phone remained silent. This is the third meal, and restraint is the main focus. I plan to go out for a rich night snack. I made some food for myself, and Yi Lin changed into a dress she didn't usually wear. 
The water red color showed her youthfulness, and the flying white crane pattern represented her longing for freedom. Ah, Yi Lin sighed. She longed for freedom, but in her past life, she was always bound by the inertia of being whatever everyone wanted. In this life, she wants to live for herself. Carrying the handbag she snatched from the sail, she casually combed her long hair and let it fall over her shoulders. She changed into the high heels she snatched from the sail to prepare for her wedding, and walked leisurely out of the house. This is after work time, and it's also when the hallway starts to be lively. Yi Lin walked out of the house and Wu Wan, who lived across from her, came back holding her child. Wu Wan, sweating profusely and panting heavily, carried a large bag of daily necessities and small cabbage in her left hand, and a child named Xiao Bao on her right arm was clamoring for candy. Seeing Yi Lin dressed in a refreshing outfit, she said sourly, Oh, Miss Yi is going on a date. Even if Yi Lin can't see her, it's okay. She can guide herself as a rescue team member, so as not to kill Wu Wan in the middle of the night. But when I saw Wu Wan, I couldn't help but hate her. Yi Lin gently turned around and presented herself gracefully in front of Wu Wan. She smiled lightly and said, Yes. Wu Wan was indeed filled with jealousy and said sharply, Miss Yi, I know your man. Be careful not to tell him and make you argue. Yuan Chen has been here more than once and has spoken to Wu Wan. Is that right? Yi Lin smiled brightly and said, It's nothing to argue about. Anyway, I won every time. After speaking, he turned around lightly and walked towards the elevator. Wu Wan was so angry that she couldn't speak. Her marital relationship is not good, and at this time, her husband and she are separated and another person is forcing Wu Wan to divorce. And Yi Lin bought a house alone and is preparing to get married. Wu Wan's face surged with rage, her mouth slightly open, and a pile of curses or insults could come out at any time. Yi Lin turned around with a smile and said, Actually, having a few more men is not a bad thing. It's better to be angry alone at home. Look, Sister Wu. Ding. The elevator happened to reach this floor, the door opened, and Yi Lin walked in, feeling very happy. Every good person has the potential to be a bad person, but good people are unwilling. So, every woman can learn bad things, but good people are unwilling to learn. When the elevator reached the first floor, Yi Lin's expression changed to dignified. Ha, Zai is still revising the text, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Punishing Evil While Promoting Good You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Punishing Evil While Promoting Good Yi Lin Went to the Supermarket First. On the way to the supermarket, advertisements and yesterday's news are still scrolling on the screen of the building. The suspect in the Qin Group Work Explosion case, Yu Feng, has a sunny smile, strong muscles, and a burly figure. Yi Lin glanced casually, for some reason, still believing that Yu Feng's smile was invincible. At the supermarket, it was the peak time to make purchases after work. Yi Lin used the remaining savings in her bank account to directly negotiate with the supermarket manager for a purchase of 10,000 yuan, and agreed that the supermarket would deliver it tomorrow. Pick up a box of chocolates and fruits, as well as two bottles of drinks, and walk out in the leisurely music. My phone has not been ringing until now. Yuan Chen didn't call immediately after work and should have made an appointment to go to the bar with someone. At this time, he is unlikely to block the door and harass himself. Yi Lin can go home with peace of mind. Fortunately, she hasn't given Yuan Chen the key yet. Otherwise, even if it snows heavily tomorrow, I would still have a big argument with an ordinary and mediocre man who has been with me for several years today, polluting my own doorstep. This is really suffocating and unjust. But according to the memory of his past life, when Yuan Chen drank until around 9 o'clock, he used his drinking power to harass himself. He desperately knocked on the door and called out to Yi Lin. Yi Lin was afraid of being laughed at by her neighbors, mainly because of Wu Wan's harsh attitude. When Yuan Chen came in, he proposed again, and the two reconciled. 
the more Yi Lin thought, the more she became afraid. After returning home, she changed into sports clothes that were convenient for movement, called the rented warehouse owner, and arranged to meet for an hour to pick up the keys. So tomorrow the supermarket's items can be delivered to the warehouse, just give the supermarket a call to change the address when the key is in hand. The warehouse area in this city is more remote and concentrated in several areas, which are a bit far from Yilin. This made Yilin quite satisfied. When the housing loan is credited, she won't be targeted by anyone, but she can only pretend to receive the goods. She has been in and out of there in the past month, and no one recognizes her. Leaving the community again, it was still early and Yilin planned to fully enjoy her pre-disaster life, while also exercising her physical strength, calmly walked towards the warehouse area. A yellow-haired person walked over. Yilin hesitated for a moment and whispered, hallucinating. Subconsciously, I followed and saw Huang Mao turning and disappearing from my sight. Yi Linting suddenly realized that this was not her former enemy, who had been chasing her with little Teddy, Big Golden Hair. Big Golden Hair, also known as the Big Golden Hair of Tiger Brothers family. One of the members of the Evil Dog Gang in this city, there is another gang leader in the name of the Evil Dog Gang, but people who grew up in this city know that Counselor Cheng Hu is the true gang leader. Yi Lin grew up in this city. She didn't want to keep up but later realized that there was a warehouse owner waiting for the appointment. She checked her phone and it was still early, maybe it didn't affect her catching up and killing the Jin Mao. Yi Lin doesn't have such a great hatred towards Yuan Chen, she just wants to quickly end this relationship of living for others. Yi Lin doesn't have such a great hatred towards Wu Wan. If Wu Wan has been living in an orderly community, she may not be willing to show her face and collude with Yuan Chen. Seeing firsthand the changes in human nature after the end of the world, what Yi Lin cannot tolerate the most is still the Jin Mao and the evil dog gang behind him. They did all the bad things before the natural disaster, and in the post-disaster base, they also did many outrageous things. Eliminating evil in front of them is equivalent to helping everyone, including themselves. From the perspective of the responsibilities of rescue team members, Yi Lin believes that it is important for her to eliminate pests in advance. There are no people like the Jin Mao on the way to the retreat and in the base, so many ordinary people can survive. As the Jin Mao walked further and further, Yi Lin thought about the boiling water, large chunks of frozen pork in the space, and the fact that she could feel some of the martial arts she had learned in her previous life coming back. She followed without hesitation. Suddenly, a person from the Public Security Bureau walked up ahead, whose uniform indicated his identity. As soon as Yi Lin felt a sense of security, she saw the Jin Mao and the security officer's familiar smile, flicked a cigarette, and the two stood fighting each other's lighters. Yi Lin felt her hair stand up and there was still a chilly feeling. I'm sorry that she grew up in this city and forgot that the reputation of the local public security bureau was not good. The rumor of colluding with gangs has long been circulating, and both those who heard and those who said it are convinced. Yi Lin calmly stopped and pretended not to recognize the road clearly, looking around and using this operation to avoid her face from the sight of the security officer and De Jin Mao. There is still one month left to be a good opportunity for chaos and disorder, and that is a good opportunity to take action to punish evil. Tonight is not suitable. Insert your hands into your pockets, pretend to have taken the wrong path, leisurely turn around, and walk back. The shadow on the ground suddenly stretched out, and a gust of wind rushed over. A hand pressed down on her shoulder, and a strange voice sounded, Beauty, lost. I found it. Yi Lin didn't turn back, she strode forward trying to get rid of the hand on her shoulder. A person walked out of the front corner, with a mischievous smile that made his face look very ugly. De Jin Mao took a detour but was here. De Jin Mao said, you've been following me, haven't you taken a liking to my brother? Raise your hand and grab Yi Lin's arm. Yi Lin dodged and took a flight at the same time. But I found that the skills from my past life came back, but my physical fitness was compromised. 
she can use the fighting skills taught by the company and the family martial arts taught by Dina, but her speed and agility are not ideal. My arm tightened and I was caught by Big Golden Hair. Big Golden Hair let out a scream and was kicked in the stomach by her. Da Ji Mao and Yi Lin fell to the ground. Oh, dead woman, it hurts so much. Yi Lin remained calm in the face of danger and adjusted her arms while she fell, hitting Da Ji Mao's chest with another elbow. It hurts. Da Ji Mao let go of her and fell to the ground, covering her chest and rolling. Behind Yi Lin came rumors, and she judged it to be a security officer. She dodged to the side, but her agility was not good enough. She was thrown to the ground and grabbed her neck with a big hand. If you don't want to follow him, you can follow me, she said Yi Lin turned around and kicked her legs, hitting her back with her elbow, but her back was still under the control of the security officer. Do you have time? Tell me who you are, where is your phone? The security officer exclaimed in an angry voice. You phone. Who is he? The name is so familiar. As Yi Lin thought, she flashed through her mind the countless cracking methods taught during training. In a flash, she had not yet chosen, but her neck loosened and she jumped forward, free. Looking back, I saw the police officer lying to the ground, with the sign on his uniform shining brightly under the moon. The faint light shone on an additional person, who was a man covered in cold. He watched her quietly. Healthy skin, familiar facial features, bulging muscles on the shoulders and chest, and a fairly burly figure. Isn't this the wanted criminal you phone? Yi Lin suddenly realized that she was afraid of accidentally entering the range targeting you phone. Bringing back the powerful nerves of experiencing the apocalypse, Yellen was not afraid. She recognized the haggard expression of the man in front of her, which was very different from the bright sunshine in the news, but she could only recognize the same person, which made Yi Lin Ma's heart ache. She felt sad for the stranger she had just met. Because in events involving the Jin Mao, anyone who opposes him is a good person. Yi Lin sighed and reminded Yu Feng, thank you for saving me. You should leave quickly. Wanted criminal Yu Feng was discovered but did not dodge. Yi Lin understood and was greatly puzzled. But she didn't want to understand his confusion, and this place was not suitable for understanding. She only vaguely understood that there was a secret information about Yu Feng's wanted, but it had nothing to do with her. It also has nothing to do with her duties as a rescue team member. There is a court in this city that can appeal, and the Public Security Bureau is two separate places. Yu Feng sneered and Bing Han said to her, The Qing family really has a heart, but would I fall for a woman? He looked extremely contemptuous and said, What kind of play do you want to play? Hurry up. Yi Lin was shocked and hurriedly said, Let's go, you suspect the wrong person. Yu Feng moved his face fiercely and realized that it had nothing to do with her. He shouted loudly, Let's go. Yi Lin squinted her eyes and said, I can't leave. Behind Yu Feng, a dozen or so people ran out from several directions, waving sticks and guns in their hands. Suddenly, Yi Lin took off her coat and put it on her head, revealing a pair of eyes. She tied a knot under her nose with her sleeve. Take a glance left and right and say, follow me. Add another sentence. You better keep up. See someone surnamed you, don't let him run away. Mr. Cheng, we've blocked you phone. He's here in Hepping Lane. Someone is shouting, someone is busy making phone calls. Someone nearby also responded, those surnamed you are over there, hurry over. Yu Feng's gaze flickered a few times before turning to follow Yi Lin. The two of them ran into a small alley, one in front and one behind. Yi Lin jumped towards the wall and immediately slid down. Yu Feng took a step forward, lifted her on his shoulder and sent her to the wall. Yi Lin reached down and said, I'll pull you. Yu Feng jumped up in place, flipped over the wall, turned his back, and helped Yi Lin down. Yi Lin landed and took a breath. Someone chased after them outside the wall and said, they've passed through here, chase after them. 
Yi Lin dared not delay in place, put on her coat, waved, and walked away with Yu Fong. Here, it is a high dot end residential area with villas and high dot rise buildings, offering elegant views of flowing water, fountains, and small bridges. Yu Fong was puzzled, does she live here? It doesn't look like it. I saw Yi Lin stopping at the other wall and looking back, there are security guards at the entrance. You don't want them to see you, do you? I don't want to either. If you go out from here, it's the city center. This is the added value of Yi Lin's work. When a client lives here, she visits and provides services to understand the nearby geographical location. For the sake of quietness, this residential area is close to the city center. Yi Lin has followed De Jin Mao to a place that has already left the city center. Yu Feng deliberately hesitated for a few seconds, listening that there was nothing unusual outside the wall. He picked up Yi Lin and sent her up to the wall first. Watching her with bright eyes lying on the wall waiting, instead of running and throwing herself down, suddenly an ambush appeared in the community, dispelling suspicion of her. With a gentle leap, Yu Feng climbed up the wall and saw cars passing by on the street outside, and customers lingering in the shops. Without any other abnormalities, Yu Feng jumped down and picked up Yi Lin, saying in a deep voice, Thank you. One life for another, thank you. Yi Lin walked away first. When tracking the Jin Mao, Yi Lin turned off her phone and it was constantly vibrating. It was either Yuan Chen calling or the warehouse owner she had arranged for. Take a few steps away, then turn around with a feeling. The night breeze is blowing, and there is no one under the moon. In the middle of the street, a car is speeding away. Yellen breathed a sigh of relief and answered the phone. Correct the spelling again. Thank you for your recommended tickets. End of this chapter. Chapter 5, 3000 Years of Vampire You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5, 3000 Years of Vampire, Beauty, Do You Still Want the Key? The warehouse owner's voice was young and impatient. Sorry, the car broke down halfway. I'm rushing over, please wait a little longer, Yi Lin said panting as she ran out of footsteps, wow. She's a woman. The warehouse location is very remote. Where are you now? I'll pick you up. Yi Lin was not afraid of this statement. She had just joined the temporary camp of wanted criminals and said pragmatically, thank you, I am outside the north gate of Shirhao residential area. The big red sports car screamed and stopped. The owner whistled loudly and looked up and down at Yi Lin with appreciative eyes, not bad, pretty girl. Bring the key. Yi Lin didn't give him a good expression. The owner of the car shook his head happily and said, get in the car, don't you go take a look at the warehouse. Yi Lin looked at the remaining spot in the convertible car, then at the lively and youthful face of the owner, and boarded the car with a stern expression. The warehouse was empty and there was nothing to look at. Yi Lin walked in and locked the door, taking the key. Starting from three days' rent, the money has been prepaid. If I need it in three days, I will prepay it to you. Yi Lin chose a short lease term, which may seem expensive but is cheaper than monthly rent. The young man laughed and said, Get in the car, I'll take you out. You can't call a car here. Yi Lin admitted that he was right and once again accepted his service pragmatically. Is it a date? Brother, would you like to go to a cocktail party? I can give you a set of formal attire, high heels, and a necklace. The young man looked like a wealthy family, and in his days, he could only enjoy life. Yi Lin was upset and said, I am a vampire for 3,000 years. Do you still want to make an offer? I like it. But not today. I made an appointment with another 16-year-old vampire, and if she breaks the promise, she will sue me at home, causing me to have my pocket money deducted. Think about it, why is it not good for me to accompany you to the warehouse and go to the bar at night, being such a happy person? Yi Lin laughed and said, did you also get sued last month? Yeah. I really have you. 
You dare to date me even if you have a good girlfriend, Yi Lin shook her head. The young man felt uneasy and said, I can take you to the cocktail party first. There aren't many girls tonight, so you will be very popular. Then go pick up the little vampire. No, two vampires can crush the cocktail party in park, I'll get off here, Yi Lin suddenly said. The young man stopped the car according to his words and pretended to be lost with a playful smile. Are you really not going to the party? No, can you give me that one? Yi Lin pointed to a fake mask that had fallen under the seat, black and adorned with feathers on one side. You take it, you take it. Next time there's a masquerade dance, I'll call you again. Yi Lin waved goodbye to him and said, drive slowly and take care of your little vampire. Ha, huh, thank you. The sports car roared away. Yi Lin shook her head, still feeling a bit envious. A person who enjoys pleasure. She walked back, passed a crossroads, put an eye mask on her face, and cautiously extended her head to look across from her. The Jean Mao and others gathered together and spoke loudly. It's all you who caught a woman, otherwise someone surnamed you wouldn't be able to run into the encirclement. She has been following me all along, I thought it was related to someone surnamed you. Mr. Cheng has a temper and wants to deduct money. Is arguing useful? With this skill, it's better to catch someone surnamed you. At least, these days when someone surnamed you hasn't shown his face, Mr. Ching thinks he's dead or driven out of the city. Without me, who could have let someone surnamed you show up? The Ji Mao is not convinced. Yi Lin pretended to make a phone call behind the tree, her eyes fixed on another person. Little Teddy, nicknamed Tiger Brothers Family, is also here. They have turned into ashes, and Yi Lin also recognizes them. Scattered, scattered. Mr. Cheng said it's better to leave it to the Public Security Bureau and rest assured. Tonight, it's a waste of effort. A dozen or so people dispersed, and Big Golden Hair and Little Teddy were in the same direction. Little Teddy vented his anger and said, Don't follow me, you go with me. Let's go, let's go. The Ji Mao angrily changed direction. Yi Lin followed him. Not far away, Yu Feng flashed out, frowning to see the people Yi Lin was following, and then looking at others in different directions. He followed Yi Lin. Every person who appears without a reason seems suspicious to Yu Feng. As the Ji Mao just shouted, if he doesn't catch Yi Lin, Yu Feng won't save people, Yu Feng won't save people, and his arch rivals, the Qing family, may think that Yu Feng is dead or afraid to stay in this city, and the Qing family's defense will relax. When Yu Feng jumped out to save the person, he didn't think too much. When he saw it was a encirclement and didn't suspect Yi Lin, Yi Lin took him out of the encirclement. Yu Feng turned back to look for the people of the Qing family, and Yi Lin appeared again. Is this a new trap for the Qing family? The Ji Mao walked and cursed all the way, occasionally passing by a car from the security bureau. When the car passed, he waved his fist at the car and said, It's not me who did it alone. Your people also think that woman is suspicious. Why do you blame me now? Yi Lin didn't dare to get too close this time, and she also paid attention to whether there were surveillance cameras on the street. As the Ji Mao walked towards an old residential area, Yi Lin took a few steps and knew that most of the surveillance cameras were damaged. Pop. The Ji Mao cursed while venting his anger by kicking and damaging the trash bin he passed by. A loud voice came out, but there was no one around. Yi Lin used her strength to nurse and ran with all her might. When the Ji Mao heard the sound and turned around, she saw a woman wearing an eye mask throwing herself into her arms. In a flash of thin air, a cup appeared in her hand, and hot water splashed onto the Ji Mao's mouth. The Ji Mao's whole body twitched in pain and he called out, hmm, twice. As he twisted his neck, Yi Lin recognized his ear and gave a full blow with her hooked finger. She has been practicing movements in the company for a year, and it doesn't require too much strength. It's suitable for her now, just focus on her movements. The Ji Mao fell to the ground and couldn't stand up. 
After trying his breathing quickly, Yi Lin ran away. She walked through the streets with fewer people, putting her eye mask into the space. By chance, she passed through the main streets and saw one after another vehicles from the security bureau, with checkpoints set up at several intersections for inspection. With the familiarity of growing up in this city, Yi Lin returned to the outside of the community, tidied up her clothes, and went in as if nothing had happened. There are still many houses in the community that have not been delivered, and the houses being renovated are not inhabited. Yi Lin went home all the way without encountering anyone. After closing the door, she breathed a sigh of relief. After joining the company's rescue team, they carried out one dangerous task after another, but afterwards they all cheered and successfully completed it. If they cheered again, they would come back alive without the need to control their expressions. If she meets her neighbors, Yi Lin cannot guarantee that they will see something wrong, but she knows very well that she is not nervous, but excited enough. Revenge, always happy, especially killing the right person. A cup of hot water is of great use, and Yi Lin also feels thirsty. She walked to the kitchen to boil water, took out all the cups, and planned to prepare more cups of hot water in the space. At this moment, downstairs, the burly and sturdy Yu Feng looked up. From the numbers displayed after she entered the elevator and the lights on the ninth floor, she lived in this room. He also returned to the scene and retraced the Jin Mao and others. Tonight, he can find the important figures hidden in the Qing family. He will seek revenge and will not care about life or death if discovered. He saw Yi Lin commit murder. After Yi Lin killed someone, the car that crossed the streets and alleys to avoid the public security bureau caught Yu Feng's attention. Yu Feng had no choice but to follow him here. After the Qing family discovered his whereabouts, the cars of the public security bureau on the street were like cushion carp crossing the river, and some intersections began to set up checkpoints for questioning. There is a security guard at the entrance of the community, and Yu Feng jumped into the wall. The woman who appeared for no reason is still suspected of being related to the Qing family, and murder can also be a cover-up. Without hesitation, Yu Feng jumped up and climbed onto the balcony on the second floor. Although the ninth floor was high, it was just a ravine in the eyes of ordinary people. For him, who had outstanding physical strength and various knowledge of extreme sports, it was not difficult. I changed the book title and can finally update it. Thank you to the Coca-Cola editor for their continuous help. Newcomers are transparent, asking for collection, comments, tips, inclusion in the book list, and recommendation tickets. Thank you to Hua Hua and myself for casting the recommendation vote. Ha! End of this chapter. Chapter 6, You Doubt Me, and I Also Doubt You You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6, You Doubt Me, and I Also Doubt You While Waiting for the Boiling Water to Boil, Yi Lin searched for the explosion at the Qing Group factory on her phone to learn about the past grievances between the Cheng and Yu families. The Jin Mao and others have said that they are related to the Qing family, and from a psychological perspective, Yu Feng has already whitewashed half of them. When Yi Lin saw the disappearance of both the chairman and wife of the Yu group, and the assets of the Yu family were sold in a very short period of time. When the receiver was the Qing family, Yu Feng washed half of her heart. The Qing family made it naked, giving it a sense of grandeur that I have in the world. Yu Feng was soon restricted from returning to his home country, and then the Qing factory exploded, and Yu Feng was wanted. Looking out of the kitchen window, the latest instructions from the security bureau are constantly playing on the screens of the towering buildings all night long. Suspect Yu Feng has been discovered, and the relevant areas are now fully sealed off. Citizens are advised to take a detour. Yi Lin sighed and gazed at Yu Feng's sunny smile on the screen, completely different from the gloomy man she had just seen. I hope you can hide well and not be discovered by them. Suddenly feeling a cold wind behind her neck, Yi Lin Shua turned around and saw Yu Feng standing outside the kitchen door. He blocked the moonlight behind him, immersed in boundless darkness, cautiously holding a gun in his hand. In the event of an emergency, protect yourself first, and then judge whether the other party is an enemy or a friend. 
This is a sentence repeatedly mentioned in the company's curriculum. Wu, boiling water on the stove emits a whistle, and there is still frozen pork in the space. These are all weapons of Yilin. She calmly asked, do you need help? Yufeng Gang determined that there was only Yilin in the room and entered the city without permission. He often hid deep in the silence and had a higher sensitivity to it. There was no one in the other rooms, and no one rushed out. I have checked the door and it has been locked inside. The door is also quite sturdy, but if there is any problem, it won't open for a while. There is only him and her in this room. Just as he was about to take a lunch to stop her, she turned her head and looked over. Under normal circumstances, shouldn't she scream? Yu Fong, who could cover Yi Lin's mouth by taking a quick step forward, heard these plain words and his mind went blank, standing still. As his mind spun rapidly, Yu Fong said, Hmm, I need help, can I? Sure. But I suggest you search my house first to avoid getting tired of holding a gun in your hand. Yi Lin finished speaking and stopped looking at him, pouring boiling water into cups of all sizes. I just searched. Yu Fong put away his gun and said frankly, I'm sorry, I'm curious about your background. If you doubt my background, should you just shoot me? Yi Lin handed him a glass of hot water. Thank you, Yu Fong took it and thanked him. His temperament exudes gloom, but politeness seems to come from the bone, with a natural sense of elegance. I don't know. He said again. Although Yi Lin had some understanding of him, she still had doubts about him. Help me turn on the living room light, on the left side of the wall, let's go there and talk. After Yu Fong turned around, he collected some boiling water and went to the living room to draw the curtains. Yu Feng's chosen position saw the window with just a glance, and then he scanned across to see the entrance. Yi Lin sat opposite him. Boiling water in hand rises to create a hot atmosphere. After a brief silence, Yu Fong said, Why kill someone? Yi Lin laughed sarcastically and said, Eliminate violence and ensure good governance. A good reason. Yu Fong nodded seriously, looking only at his expression and expressing deep belief. Yi Lin said, What about you? Is everything written on the news true? With the other hand, she took out her phone to unlock it and lit up the news on the screen. Yu Fong lowered his head, but Yi Lin still saw his pain. I don't want to say it. Okay, let's talk directly about how to accommodate you tonight. Since you have seen my room, you should know that there is a place for you to sleep. However, I think you would prefer to sleep in the living room, where you can both stare at the door and see the window. For extreme athletes, it's easy to go up to the ninth floor and leave. Yi Lin stood up and said, there are two restrooms, and the one outside is for your use. If you're not afraid of being stuck in the restroom, there's everything inside and new towels in the cabinet. But I don't have any men's clothes you can wear, so I'm glad there's a washing machine with a drying function in the restroom. If you don't have anything to say, good night. How do you explain? Yu Feng's eyes were bright and bright. What? Yi Lin was shocked. Do you have men's clothes that I can't wear? Is it your family or your husband? He won't come back tonight. Yu Feng said. Is there any sign of a man living here? Yi Lin sneered the new house was delivered, followed by decoration and ventilation. Just a few days after receiving it, Yuan Chen brought all his belongings and happily brought a few pieces of clothing. Afterwards, the two of them argued. If they had lived in a past life, they would have reconciled quickly. After all, the new house was ready, and their life journey was only waiting for marriage. In this lifetime, forget it. Yi Lin entered the bedroom and slammed the door tightly, expressing her displeasure. Yu Feng had nothing to say, it was him who broke in without permission, and it seemed that he was also the one who spoke to offend him. As Yi Lin said, he didn't plan to take a shower. He could climb even higher floors, but couldn't get out of the small window in the bathroom. The smell of sweat on his clothes was unpleasant, and Yu Feng had no intention of dirtying the living room sofa. He leaned back on the chair and fell asleep. 
Under the dim yellow light of the small desk lamp, Yi Lin held a pen in one hand and a paper in the other, and first calculated the possibility of encountering danger. For example, Yu Feng is actually a bad person. He saved himself by chance genetic mutation. Dozens of cups of boiling water were poured together in the space, making it difficult for a tiger to handle. Coupled with the sudden smashing of frozen pork, it should be able to protect itself. So let's calculate the benefits. Yi Lin intoxicated herself and wrote three words on the paper. Snow Cannon Gun World Tree Rescue Company claims to be the first private rescue company after a natural disaster. They need manpower and are extremely short of them. Upon joining, they can pass both physical and intellectual levels, and the company offers various rewards. Recommend an employee who has passed both the entry and exit requirements, and the company also offers various rewards to the referrer. It goes without saying that physical strength is essential for executing tasks. Intelligence passing does not mean welcoming high intelligence, but keeping up with the company's learning progress, which ordinary people can do. However, there is no doubt that Yu Feng entered the country without permission. It seems that he had revenge before bombing the Qing family factory. His intelligence must have passed and exceeded the standard. Yi Lin wants a snow cannon gun. The minimum configuration for company employees is a snow cannon gun, which is an upgraded version with better aiming and range. On the paper, write another line. House type sleeping bag, like a snow cannon gun, is an upgraded version of the employee's low. End sleeping bag. RVs, first generation, second generation, and third generation. What generation of cars can extreme athletes exchange for? Yi Lin couldn't help but whisper softly. After obtaining the loan, she wouldn't consider buying a car. The company allocated a low price to the rescue team for a first-generation RV, which has a constant temperature inside and more functions than commercially available cars. The second generation is better. Third generation stronger Yi Lin didn't want Yu Feng to be willing or not. After 20.9 days, he had to agree, and if he didn't agree, he could only live in the snow until he froze to death. I think he doesn't have the qualifications to go to the base. Shouldn't a normal woman scream when she sees a man sneaking in at night? Yi Lin is not afraid of him and doesn't think she's in danger. Why scream? Seeing Yu Feng's concerns, Yi Lin reluctantly expressed the same concern, that is, she quickly thought that the man who could climb the ninth floor could exchange her for new equipment. She needs to be cautious and gradually gain his trust. When she comes up, she says I'm not afraid, there's no problem taking you in, just afraid of scaring him away. Can he change it to two different types? Both the sleeping bag and the RV seem to be able to sleep, but one can move and the other doesn't. It would be great if he could change the gun, sleeping bag, and RV to three different types. Yi Lin continues to write on paper, but in addition, she also wants the company's upgraded nutrition supplements, anti-cold clothing, and courses taught by the CEO. How much can an extreme athlete be worth? Correct the spelling again. Have a meal, then go right. If you can't get up from hibernation, change breakfast to lunch and have lunch in the afternoon to ensure that you have dinner. The current routine is like this, sleeping in bed, but giving up nap. End of this chapter. Chapter 7, Miss Yi, I know you are kind.hearted you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7, Miss Yi, I know you are kind.hearted before dawn, Yi Lin walked out of the bedroom three times. One time, she pretended to pour boiling water and coldly asked Yu Feng to just sleep on the fabric sofa. How could she sleep well while sitting, but Yu Feng refused? It can be seen that he is unwilling to add more trouble. The second time, thinking of Yu Feng's reserved politeness, he took out some food as breakfast for him. The third time Yi Lin walked out of the bedroom, the night wind blew the curtains, and the person unexpectedly went down from the wall again, forgetting that opening the door was the elevator. The monitoring of new residential areas and properties is actually incomplete, and I believe he can avoid it. 
up three times a night, disturbing herself and Yu Feng, but Yi Lin thought she couldn't disturb Yu Feng. She opened the door lightly enough and quietly walked to the living room, where Yu Feng often kept his eyes open. A very alert person, no wonder they look haggard, and their large physique cannot increase roundness. There are food packaging bags in the trash can. Yu Feng ate some food and took some away. Yes, he couldn't show his face during the day and it was inconvenient to buy things. The cup he drank water from last night was washed clean on the countertop, and there were no water stains on the countertop. The outside of the cup was also wiped clean. Yi Lin, who had been intoxicated all night and exchanged Yu Feng for company rewards, did not immediately fall asleep. Instead, she reviewed the entire process of seeing him at home, whether she had scared him away, whether she had at least left an eye contact, and waited for 29 days. Oh, now it is 28 days. Even if Yu Feng no longer appears, she can still go find him and mobilize him to join the company together. It's completely impossible to catch up on sleep. After reviewing, the phone rang and the delivery time agreed upon with the supermarket was approaching. Yi Lin yawned and went downstairs to call for a car to open the warehouse door. The driver often says, do you do business? Yes, I stayed up late to discuss business and had to wake up early to receive goods, Yi Lin complained casually. The driver said, then you shouldn't care about the fare. I took a detour. Upon hearing about overcharging, Yi Lin regained some clarity and saw that the security bureau had set up a checkpoint outside the window. She immediately agreed, I'm in a hurry and they've been asking me about it. I don't know how long it will take. Sit down now. The driver glanced at her fastened seat belt and the car turned into a pitch black alley, bumping all the way. Yi Lin remembered the route all the way, and when she returned, she could save money and walk back on her own. Arriving at the warehouse ten minutes in advance would cost about half the fare, but Yi Lin didn't say a word. Get off the car and open the warehouse door. The delivery person from the supermarket has arrived. This is the first batch of items purchased by Yi Lin. Half are high calorie and high protein finished or semi dot finished products, and the other half are water, rice, flour, grains, and oil. Chocolate, braised vegetables, vacuum packaging. After Yi Lin renovated, she only had over 10,000 in her hands, and only spent a few hundred yesterday. Watching the supermarket car leave, Yi Lin returned to the warehouse, closed the door tightly, and happily packed the space. Returning to the community on the same path, the commuters took a walk, while the home buyers walked out one after another. Yi Lin got out of the elevator, while Wu Wan carried her child into the elevator. The two of them walked on the top floor. Yi Lin's face turned black directly. She will seek revenge against the evil dog gang, but she has no intention of killing Wu Wan. Even Yuan Chen only intends to end here, it's already too early. The day spent at the base allowed Yi Lin to see with her own eyes many people who were originally good at survival, distorting herself for survival, and all kinds of terrifying appearances could come out. There are sufficient reasons to kill the Jin Mao, so as not to harm others again, he will continue to seek justice from the evil dog gang. Letting go of Wu Wan and Yuan Chen is equivalent to indirectly harming the people they hurt later on. Obviously, if Yi Lin withdraws from their lives, Wu Wan and Yuan Chen will encounter other victims. But Yi Lin can't manage it. She couldn't find and kill the last twisted people in her memory one by one. Without natural disasters, some people might not have died. The evil dog gang is different. There are natural disasters but not natural disasters. They are all bad people and do all sorts of bad things. Taking a step sideways, Yi Lin avoided Wu Wan. Miss Yi, Wu Wan followed with her child in her arms. Ding, the elevator closed and she went downstairs. There was no one around. Wu Wan approached cautiously and could see that she had applied powder and used a lipstick that didn't feel right. The lipstick was too bright, making her look like she had just drunk blood. Miss Yi, you are someone with connections. 
I thought about what you said yesterday all night. Thank you for persuading me. You are right. It's not possible to rely on a man. Can you help me? Yi Lin's mind buzzed, what? What can I help you with? She looked confused, and Wu Wan had no patience. Her face was suppressed with displeasure, saying, Miss Yi, everyone is neighbors. Can you help me? You can accumulate virtue. Yi Lin thought to herself that if I could accumulate virtue from you, I would push you downstairs directly, so that you wouldn't suffer from natural disasters and be reborn to start a new life. Miss Yi, have you forgotten? Yesterday, you kindly advised me to find more men. Alas, Xiao Bao is still young, and I can't think of any other way. His ghost father doesn't take the money back. Wu Wan misunderstood Yi Lin's silence and thought she had forgotten what she had said. Yi Lin couldn't help but laugh three times and said, Ha ha, ha, Yang Chang entered the house. What do you think I am? Yesterday I deliberately angered you, didn't you see that? Besides, you call this kindness. Is it because your child is young that you sell yourself? With such a bottom line, why not go fight with Xiao Bao's father? The resentment towards Wu Wan in my memory was swept away, and the embarrassment on her face was met by her seemingly pleading. Before Yi Lin went to sleep, she burst into tears with a smile. Wake up with good news again. The loan has been received and 1.03 million has been deposited into the account. Yi Lin, with messy hair and pajamas on, sat in front of the computer to complete the operation. All a person needs is clothing, food, housing, and transportation. Regarding clothes, Yi Lin doesn't want to stock up too much. The company's low.end winter jackets, combat clothes, and so on are the best clothes Yi Lin has ever seen. Essential for going out. Returning to the company, in the eternal 26 degrees, if there is personal clothing, it is allowed to dress. Yi Lin was rescued from the company in her past life, and when her people were thawed, their clothes were also broken and could no longer be worn, always wearing company clothes. Click on the mouse and pick up some nice items to buy, that's all. She made a big purchase for the food she ate, and the nutritional supplements were extremely convenient, but the taste was indescribable. It is said that there are top-notch nutritional supplements, and it is not up to ordinary employees like Yilin. The employees of the World Tree Rescue Company never complain. Firstly, the news needs to be confirmed, and secondly, if everyone is rescued by the company, it's good to live and not complain. Or, to put it another way, most complainers leave the World Tree Rescue Company. Living and transportation can be solved with just one RV, and the company will send it. Yi Lin keeps her eyes open and clicks on one food manufacturer's website after another, constantly communicating with customer service about prices, taste, and delivery. The RV provided by the company can be used for cooking. The company issued nutritional supplements, but still took into account the discovery of ingredients during the search and rescue process, allowing employees to have a full meal. The rich and sufficient amount of carbon water is far more helpful to humans than nutritional supplements. The function of nutritional supplements is to facilitate portability and easy consumption, helping employees who are away from home to better maintain their physical strength. Correct the spelling again. Signed. Immediate resumption of normal updates. Due to the cold weather, the update time cannot be determined at the moment, and the public period is temporarily limited to three shifts per day. It's cold, everyone pay attention to your health. In the current situation, go out less when you have nothing to do. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Inventory list you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8, Inventory list daily necessities such as toothpaste and shampoo are also distributed by the company. The brand is unknown, but they taste refreshing when used. What Yi Lin currently needs is food, water, and warm things. The snow disaster does not lack water, only fuel, but thanks to the blessing of a company, the team members who go out do not lack fuel. Yi Lin only prepares to live alone before the company arrives, without electricity or gas, and needs the necessary fuel. 
so her list is like this. The food mainly consists of delicious food and nutritious and healthy beverages, followed by fruits such as apples, oranges, bananas, pears, and dragon fruit rice, flour, oil, salt, and seasoning are also needed, so many electric pots are wholesale, and the plan is to cook the rice and put it in the space, which will be hot when taken out. Fuel includes charcoal, dry ice, and batteries. A well-charged battery is undoubtedly the best fuel source. A large can of gas, about the height of a person, come up with some. Cotton quilts, electric heating blankets, wind power generation equipment, warm patches, etc. Discovering that boiling water is a weapon, purchasing a large number of cups, frozen meat has not yet been used, and it is also included in the weapon. When swung, it must be powerful enough to hit people, and buying some large pieces also needs to be decomposed after thawing. Beef and mutton rolls are not in this category. One million and three million may seem like a huge sum for the working class, but when they hoard it, Yi Lin has less than half a day left with only one-tenth. In twenty-seven and a half days, she plans to leisurely purchase food nearby and order some takeout to enjoy the life of spending money. There are few purchases of drugs, and the temperature is dropping. Instead of spending money on drugs, it's better to prepare more batteries and electric heating blankets. As Yi Lin watched the generation of orders and the delivery time information on her phone one by one, she yawned and felt tired. She continued to sleep. Wake up with moonlight all over the floor, the room is silent. Yuan Chen did not harass, and Yu Feng did not come back. Yi Lin got up to work packed the supermarket shopping in the space into a small room, and busily cooked in the kitchen, creating a good income space. The tall building can be heard far away, and from time to time, there are cars from the security bureau honking their horns on the street. Yi Lin has to worry about whether her company rewards will fly. Out of caution, she did not go out. The current physical strength cannot keep up, and boiling water is not the best way to rely on it. Improving one's physical fitness is the hard truth. I have arranged to go to the company tomorrow. Taking leave does not result in resignation, and resignation does not result in taking leave. I will use a simple and convenient method. The purchased items will be delivered within about five days, and for the remaining twenty days, she plans to improve her physical fitness at home during the day, go out at night to look for bad luck from the evil dog gang, and preferably kill a little Teddy. Wu Wan, she can't hate anymore. Yuan Chen, the farther away, the better. Little Teddy, on the other hand, had to be killed, otherwise he would be filled with resentment and blocked by a stone. Lin Lin, you finally came to work. Yi Lin had just entered her current company when she met Yuan Chen. Looking at Yuan Chen's happy expression, Yi Lin couldn't help but say, have you been waiting for me here all this time? Yuan Chenha laughed heartily and said happily, You're such a clever little ghost, you guessed it right. Yi Lin looked at him with such a smile, shivering all over her body and feeling nauseous from inside out. She took two steps back to take a few breaths of fresh air, only wanting to break his smile and say, It's work time now. You're guarding me in the elevator here, not afraid your manager will take it. Look at what you said, I'm also a clever ghost. I know you will definitely come. If you don't come today, come tomorrow. If you don't come tomorrow, come the day after tomorrow. My position is by the window, and I keep looking outside. When I see you coming, I wait at the elevator. Yuan Chen was overjoyed. Yi Lin desperately recalled the beautiful scene to suppress nausea, and the heavy snow ravaged the unity of her teammates. She was reborn in the despair after being surrounded by zombies. This despair is not uncommon in the company, but rescue teams are still willing to carry out tasks. This can be said to be the love of humanity and the purest emotion towards humans. Yi Lin deeply regrets her mediocre years with Yuan Chen. She sternly said, to be honest. The psychological construction she had done before coming could collapse at any moment, and her mind was filled with foolish memories of her past life. She was afraid that she would give Yuan Chen a nail punch at any time. 
With a gloomy face, he revealed, the girl at the front desk on the first floor called you. Yuan Chen even saw her angry, but he blinked his eyes and continued to be lively, not caring at all. You're right, right. How about it? Am I smarter than you? Yuan Chen. Yi Lin said word by word, listen to me, I don't owe you anything over the years. In terms of spending money, you spend more on me. In terms of emotional investment, you have the suspicion of indulging in extravagance and alcohol, and I have been working hard and studying. After graduation, I started working. If you're not at a disadvantage, I'll accept it. From here on, let each other go and let each other be free. Yuan Chen's face changed and he forcefully regained his lively demeanor. If you have premarital phobia, I will accompany you to see a doctor after work, he said, I saw you have a phobia. Now I'm going to do something, and you're going back to work. Otherwise, I'll immediately tear open my face and make a scene with you, making you a joke in the company. Yi Lin's expression became even more serious. Yuan Chen finally looked grim and looked for a step for himself. Let's talk about it after work. You know that manager Zhang is good to newcomers, but my team leader always peels his skin. I'll go back first, you wait for my phone call. Yi Lin took a breath and almost walked away at the same time. Colleagues are all busy, and no one warmly greets them. The new employee has only been working for half a year, and Yi Lin has not yet found a trusted colleague. She went straight to meet the manager Zhang Yu. A middle-aged man in his forties always looks smiling. He is not a smiling tiger, but a mask that has been trained by being bullied in the workplace. In private, he takes good care of his subordinates. Seeing Yi Lin feeling a little happy, Zhang Yu waved and said, Here's the leave note, I'll sign it for you. I want to resign, Yi Lin chuckled. Zhang Yu was taken aback and immediately realized, there are many drawbacks to having a boyfriend and girlfriend in the same company. If you don't want to see Yuan Chen again, I have the power to transfer him to a lower factory. His salary won't change, and the job will be similar, but he won't come back to the headquarters. Yi Lin turned into a bitter smile. In her past life, she was so blind and mesmerized, as if others knew that Yuan Chen had another life. Take out the prepared reason. My relatives in my hometown called me back, and I only said it to you. Zhang Yu smiled and said, Okay. Among the same group of newcomers, he liked Yi Lin the most. She had a bit of enthusiasm when he first joined the company, and she was so tired that she rushed to do it. Before the edges were smoothed out, she had endless energy. The brilliance of youth does not necessarily refer to being young and beautiful, but also to the ups and downs of life, such as the birth of a newborn calf. She has a slick boyfriend like Yuan Chen, which also makes Zhang Yu, who feels like an elder, feel heartbroken. Yuan Chen has been in the company for less than three months and has been pursuing the chairman's daughter and the general manager's daughter, both openly and secretly. Of course, he is not favored by others. Recently, he has been getting along well with his direct supervisor's sister and is accompanied to the bar every night. Zhang Yu is very willing to help Yi Lin, before she sees the darkness of life, there is more brightness. He is all ears. See you tomorrow. End of this chapter. Chapter 9, Assign Training You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9, Assign Training Yi Lin said mysteriously, my relative makes a living by dancing the great god. Oh. He invited a fairy and said that it would be snowy when it was hottest next month. Since then, the whole country has moved to the hottest area and set up several global bases there. I don't believe it, but he believed that he had to force me to go back to my hometown to buy things for him. What kind of quilt flashlight, he sent me another sum of money so that I could buy it in the city and then send it back. He is an elder. He helps my parents clean and send flowers at their graves all the year round. I can't help but do it. I always feel that he has mental problems and plans to take care of him for a while before returning. Can the company ask for a month's leave, can't I would have to resign. Zhang Yu suppressed a smile and coughed several times. 
I'll take a month off for you. Resigning requires several days of process, and you won't be able to go home immediately. Besides, when he recovers, you also need to find a job. As Yi Lin thought, resigning requires going through several departments, which is very troublesome. She bowed gratefully and said, Thank you. It's better to believe in something like this than to believe in nothing. You should also prepare more warm things and more food at home when you have time. This always comes from good intentions, Zhang Yu said, okay. Waiting for Yi Lin to go out, she smiled. There are online apocalyptic theories every year, and Zhang Yu has also seen them. Perhaps Yi Lin is also one of the people who is fascinated by them. He first went through the leave procedures for Yi Lin, and then wrote a report applying to transfer some outstanding new employees to the factory to participate in training and integrate into the company, including Yuan Chen's name. In this way, when Miss Yi Lin comes to cancel her vacation, Zhang Yu can tell her to come back to work with peace of mind. Resignation is a pleasure, but finding a job can be frustrating. According to Zhang Yu, a professional at this age, as long as the company's income is stable enough, the turnover is almost the same. How can there be any difference in the same interpersonal relationships and complex promotions? Yi Lin walked to the first floor and saw Yuan Chen and the receptionist muttering to each other. Yuan handsome guy had a school grass face, which was also the reason why Yi Lin suspected him of not doing good things in the bar in the past, and also had a very talkative mouth. Without a clear idea, it can be enjoyed among students with unclear interests, and people at work do not buy into it. The little girls are actually indulging in this kind of coaxing at school and at work. Yi Lin was also deceived in this way. Seeing Yi Lin come down, Yuan Chen raised his voice and said, There's nothing I can do. My boss has high demands, so I can only trouble you again for help. If you have a big client coming in, remember to contact us first. The front desk chuckled and said, remember to treat me to dinner. Yi Lin didn't even lift her head and walked out the door. If Yuan Chen dared to come and harass, she would really get angry here. Fortunately, Yuan Chen saw her coldness and didn't dare to come over. Within ten minutes, Yuan Chen's sunny smile tormented Yi Lin's mind, but fortunately, there was another sunny smile everywhere in front of her. The news of the wanted Yu Feng scrolled through, rescuing Yi Lin. I also believe more in Yu Feng's innocence and the shamelessness of the Qing family. I don't know how much assets the Yu family has embezzled, so I'm so afraid of Yu Feng's appearance. Wanted, let's go for it. However, there's a screenshot of Yu Feng's brilliant smile on the video, which doesn't seem like a bad person at all. Bad people are not visible, but Yi Lin has a slight relationship with Yu Feng, and she increasingly believes that he has encountered injustice. I originally wanted to take a leave or resign and wander the streets, going to a dessert shop that I envied but used to be stingy with my wallet. Apart from the aftermath of encountering Yuan Chen, the number of intersections where the street security bureau set up checkpoints for questioning has increased, causing Yi Lin to worry about her company's rewards and her mood to disappear. Take a quick step to buy desserts, take a small portion that you can carry on your own, take two turns, leave no one in the space, and then go to an outdoor goods store for a stroll, which suddenly causes a lot of bleeding. Yu Feng climbed up the ninth floor to remind Yi Lin that she should increase her climbing skills when exercising. When the temperature drops, the snow freezes the road, and the order collapses, and the robbers come out, she can block the door and go downstairs from the wall. At that time, it will be cold enough to freeze everything, and the walls will freeze thick, making them slippery. However, if you add a rope to the uneven surface, it will not be difficult to go up and down. It's better than going downstairs in an elevator or taking stairs, being beaten or robbed. What Yi Lin requested was a steel rope, and the thicker training hemp rope would freeze and break with just one tap. The steel cable will not break when frozen, it is still strong. The boss thought she was an outdoor enthusiast and enthusiastically recommended her tent, clothes, and pressure cooker. You know when you go up the mountain, low air pressure and high boiling point make ordinary pots difficult to boil. 
Yi Lin couldn't help feeling a little regretful as she listened. She regarded Yu Feng as a recent company reward and even fantasized about changing into something different, but she prepared herself well, afraid of forgetting what Yu Feng would wear in the cold weather before the company arrived. She started selecting clothes for Yu Feng. She had heard before that private sports expenses were huge, but today there is overwhelming evidence. Two sets of snow mountaineering clothes, including underwear and socks, spiked shoes, and a mountaineering pick, were just simple equipment. The boss recommended a kettle, tent, military knife, screwdriver, backpack, and sleeping bag, but she didn't buy them. After hoarding, she only had one-tenth of the remaining balance, which was reduced by half, and only 50,000 went out. When I went out, my mood was even lower. I walked two streets carrying big and small bags, but I also forgot about my income space. A new voice appeared on the ubiquitous screen of the building. Martial arts actress Dina will be promoting a new play in this city soon. Yi Lin was full of energy and couldn't close her mouth in an instant. It seemed that she didn't have to wait until she entered the company to see her teammate Dina first. Since she has come to this city, I will also remind her to stock up on some things. If you encounter a rescue company called World Tree, remember to join without hesitation. Feeling heavy in her hands, Yi Lin breathed a sigh of joy and found a place to receive space without anyone. Her mood was bright and sunny, and she calmly strolled down the street. Encountering several incidents of bullies by the evil dog gang, Yi Lin gritted her teeth and endured. It's almost time to settle the accounts with you, it's only about 20 days. I ate my favorite food outside at noon, and it was the same at night. Life has never been so comfortable before. The steel cable was fixed to the wall with thick iron nails, and Yi Lin nailed many wooden blocks to the wall, which looked like a regular climbing training wall. She patted her head and said, no wonder I feel something's wrong, it's still missing something. Picking up my phone and going out, I returned with an extra set of winches in my hand, which can be manually, electrically, or remotely controlled, and installed next to the window in the living room. It can help your phone come up, and even after freezing, you can use it downstairs. After installation, I took turns doing several sets of warm dot up and energy boosting exercises as taught by the company in my memory. I was so tired that I didn't want to move. It's hot, the wooden floor on the ninth floor is not afraid of the ground getting cold, so why not sleep in this position for a while? Wake up with a gentle night breeze, Yi Lin yawned and placed the winch cable along the wall to the fifth floor. The new community has just begun delivery, and most of the owners are renovating it first. Yi Lin's building is unoccupied from the top, while the seventh, sixth, and third floors are unoccupied from the bottom. Yi Lin has never seen who lives on the 5th and 8th floors, but even if the owner of the 5th and 8th floors discovers the steel cable next to the window, Yi Lin doesn't believe he can climb up. If he encounters someone with outstanding physical strength again, he may not be able to climb smoothly. If he encounters a bad person, he will only face boiling water and watering when he climbs up. Boiled water, a weapon that is not considered a weapon, is very effective in controlling the field. It has rained here for a few days, giving off a gloomy feeling of winter. It's sunny today, it's really nice. End of this chapter Chapter 10, One Ground Chicken Feather You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10, One Ground Chicken Feather Hurrying to Cook a Meal for Himself, As soon as he took his first bite, the door was slammed fiercely. Yuan Chen's voice was extremely cheerful, Lin Lin, I'll bring you a surprise. Yi Lin almost choked and drank half a glass of water before she could breathe back. Upon hearing a voice outside the door, Wu Wan exaggeratedly said, Oh, it's Mr. Yuan. You've bought so many flowers, and you're really kind to Miss Yi. However, Miss Yi has been going out a lot lately and she looks really nice. It's not until 10 o'clock. It's time for you unmarried people to say something to enjoy. She's not at home, is it? It's impossible, she's not that kind of person, Yuan Chen said angrily. Wu Wan said, that's not good. Anyway, 
what she told me is that having more men is good, and I won't lie to you. Impossible. From Yuan Chen's voice, Yi Lin could imagine him jumping in mid-air. Suddenly, with a sudden inspiration, Yi Lin picked up her phone and quickly set it to silent. The next second, Yuan Chen's phone arrived and the door rang again. He made a phone call while knocking on the door. On the ninth floor, there were four households on a staircase, and the other two families were living with Grandma Zhao and her grandson, as well as Wang and Qian, who came out together to protest. My grandson is going to school tomorrow. We need to sleep. Yuan Chen had a few arguments with them, but he was outnumbered and driven away. Soon, according to time, he went from the elevator to the downstairs, and the text messages came quickly and overwhelming. No matter where you are, hurry back home for me. You're mine, you know. Why don't you reply to the text message? Are there any men around you, how many are there? Don't you dare to give me a green hat, let's see. You're really hiding deep, why didn't you see your fickle nature before? Yi Lin felt a faint pain in her stomach after finishing dinner with dog blood all over her face. Turn off your phone and go to sleep. I was angry and didn't fall asleep in the middle of the night. The morning light came out, and it was estimated that Yu Fong would not come. He put the steel rope through the window and only then did he finally wake up. This day was spent in Yuan Chen's constant phone and text messages, indicating that Yuan Chen was slacking off in the company. When the goods arrived in this city, the delivery master called in advance to schedule a time. Yi Lin put her phone aside and almost missed it. She could call back, but she thought about being harassed by Yuan Chen and getting home. The day was filled with murderous energy. When climbing, one can work hard and directly increase one's physical strength. The next day, she gritted her teeth, and the next three days were when she received the goods. If Yuan Chen called and texted again, she would really see. When brushing her teeth, Wu Wan's crying came from the hallway and said, You can leave as soon as you say, can't I find anyone else? If you don't believe me, go ask Miss Yi across from me. She said I have a way out and advised me to find more men. Yi Lin detested looking at the sunlight outside the window. The end of the world should arrive early. She wants to live a normal life, not like this. On the screen of the upper buildings on the street, the Public Security Bureau continued to announce through news that Yu Fong had not been caught. There were still checkpoints set up everywhere on the street, and it was impossible to guarantee that the places where the checkpoints were set up were the same every day, so the fare could not be saved. When Yi Lin got on the car, Yuan Chen's phone number arrived more accurately than when he went to work. Yi Lin hung up and texted him back, Get out. Are you saying, Go? You forgot when you used to expect me to be with you every night. You have a wild man, can you tell me to go now? I must have offended the heavens, so let myself be reborn and suffer. Yi Lin endured him for two days, but Yuan Chen's mouth shattered and no one could match him. However, today she couldn't move or turn off her phone. There were six deliveries from morning till night, and she brought all the chicken feathers with her heart to the warehouse. Just as I got off the car, the security guard in the community called and said, Miss Yi, your boyfriend said you went missing and caused trouble here. Let's go find you. Are you coming back to deal with it? Okay, Yuan Chen took a leave to argue with her to the end. Yi Lin now fully understands how much a homemaker girlfriend is worth, and is worth a scumbag because she doesn't work. I really want to ask him, isn't your 300 Yuan full attendance important? Yi Lin sneered and said, my boyfriend is right next to me. He took me on a trip to the beach and I won't go home these days. Thank you for keeping an eye on the community. I understand. The security guard apologized and hung up the phone. I don't know how the security handled it, but Yi Lin was quiet that day and received the goods normally. At night, she lives in the warehouse, where there is water and a rudimentary restroom where people who are looking at the warehouse can stay. The cotton quilt purchased by Yi Lin has arrived, with a plastic outer packaging. 
She laid it directly on the ground and then went out to buy electric mosquito repellent incense. There is no air conditioning in the warehouse, but it has been empty before and I don't feel very hot. Lunch and dinner were all settled nearby, and the taste of the small restaurant was average. Yi Lin didn't buy much. The warehouse is about two floors high, possibly due to anti theft reasons. The windows are high and there are old hemp ropes hanging on the walls, which should have been used by the previous tenant when unloading goods and they forgot to take them away. Stepping on the cargo box, securing the hemp rope to the window, Yi Lin climbed over and over again. Yuan Chen no longer harassed her, and she worked out all night until she was exhausted and fell asleep. This feeling should be sweet, and in a daze, there were screams of agony. Don't kill me, I will repay the money. Hee hee, we won't kill you, we'll just cut your waist. I will repay the money, I will definitely repay it. Rotten gambler, what are you taking back? Yi Lin woke up as if she had been pierced by a needle, rushed to the door with one step, opened it with one hand, and rushed to the door with another. The moonlight hung down like a train, and the world was silent in the bright light. She murmured in disappointment, not in the company. Rescue seemed to be etched in her life, her deep sleep had restored her strength, and she instinctively searched for it. The night in the warehouse area is filled with horror, and when there is no sound, it feels like a horror movie. Screams continue to come, and timid people run away. More than a dozen people were blocking one person in the corner, some holding knives and flashing snow, cruel and ruthless. The person known as a bad gambler saw that there was no way out and became anxious. It was you who pulled me to gamble, you who advised me to gamble, you who invited me to eat and drink every day, and took me to gamble after dinner. If I lost the bet and didn't let me go home, you lent me money to continue gambling. It was you who did it all. We originally only wanted to pick you one, but since you said that, why don't you just remove all your heart, liver, intestines, stomach, and lungs? Put on the mask and I mask, Yi Lin swung her arms with all her might and rushed over, shouting, Stop it. A large piece of frozen meat appeared in her hand, which arrived today. She specially purchased frozen pig legs for easy swinging. Bang 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 bang. In one breath, when it hit more than a dozen people swaying around, the people who were blocked jumped up and ran. Yi Lin didn't want to shoulder it with the dozen people. She turned around, put away the frozen meat, and quickly ran away. Running in the opposite direction of the warehouse, intending to give cups of hot water to the pursuers, I heard a muffled groan and a heavy downpour. There was a shout. It's you phone. There's a clue bounty of one million, hurry up, make a phone call. Yi Lin turned around and saw a burly figure waving her fists, blocking her pursuers. Leave, I don't need your help. Yellen shouted. Out of the eight or nine people chasing after, three of them came after. Yi Lin ran away with them, and Yu Fong was shocked. The person who fought back with a punch also followed behind. Just as they turned the corner, they screamed in agony, Ah! Bang! 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 Three harsh blows and heavy throwing. Yu Fong arrived just in time and saw the three pursuers falling down without any struggle. In the darkness, Yi Lin's hands were shining slightly, and the cold came in waves. There is one more update, Zai is writing. End of this chapter.